All right, welcome back, everybody. This is the Benjaminator. This is Mike. And uh, you're watching Let's Play Act Razor. So we're in Fillmore, and we have uh, getting rid of all the monster layers on this side of the river. But oh, a strange bow and some arrows. This is actually pretty nifty. Um, oh God, you could have just you could have just told us what you want to tell us the last time we were there. <laughs> These people, I swear. Oh, okay, so now we got the bridge building skill because we sealed up that last monster layer. Okay, so let me show you what the magical bow does. Um, hold on a sec. Let me, let me let me speed up the message speed because this is definitely going to get on my nerves. Yeah, there we go. Much better. Much better. Okay, so what you want to do next is because now we have basically full access, you want to... Yeah, once, once I get the chance. Oh, people are happy now because they're cleared out that monster layer. It's good stuff. It's good stuff. So right now, um, the only one I can aim. We need me... to accept the offering first. Yes, we need the offering. So we got the bridge building skills, and uh, we will accept. We will accept the fact that you know how to build bridges. We will accept that as valid information. <laughs> oh, this game. All right. So this. Um, I'm gonna show this off. The strength of the angel basically means that you can one shot these dudes now pretty awesome it only lasts for a limited period of time but you can do this it's incredibly useful later on especially when you have enemies that have multiple uh multiple hps because you get you're up against some um creatures later that just have it seems like a ridiculous amount of hit points so if you ever if you if they're being really annoying and you ever want to just kind of get rid of that that's what you want to do so we're kind of snaking around the river now now, when it comes to the sequences of uh, building, what you kind of want to do is try to hit every square, because um, obviously there's still some stuff on this side that has not quite been developed. Although that's because, like, like I said, it's that sometimes the uh, sometimes they just won't build a whole lot. And also, one one of the things you can do is see these yucky old huddy houses. You can have you can have them destroyed, and then they'll rebuild them back, and it's perfectly okay because. With better, with better, uh, it seems kind of counterintuitive, but actually with better technology, they will, their population will increase, even though we just committed, you know, basically a form of genocide. Um, <laughs> well, you know, can't build a nation without cracking a few heads. I know, it's, this is just all Deuteronomy, man. Pretty much. <laughs> Except, you know, more musicals. More musicals, um, probably less salted earth incestuous stuff. <laughs> that's not true, right? That's more Genesis. Ah, uh, true. Genesis yeah. is where things get uh, freaky, to put it politely. Although, I mean, there's no evidence so far that we have any like patriarchs that are living for centuries, though. Like that's yeah. all, all these people seem like they're you know living your kind of average 35 years pre-industrial era type thing. Well, I mean that's all <laughs> guesstimates because time doesn't really seem to be a thing. Here. Right? Yeah. It's. This could I mean, be. These guys keep talking about years. That's about the only time where. Yeah, I, I'm assuming this is like a period of several years that's going on, um, which, which you know, I would imagine if that's the case that, that makes sense for the population growth that's happening. Yeah, and also like I'm pretty sure they've already developed like tons and tons of epic poems about that particular monster layer. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, there's at least a couple about the uh, throne of dragons. <laughs> yeah, exactly. So, I'm pretty sure they've already... Well, I would say that they've already established their own religion, but we don't let them do that. <laughs> there is one god, and that is me. <laughs> yep. <laughs> it's yeah. a tough job, but one of us has to do it. Well, yeah, it's, later on, I, I do believe that there is a blasphemy angle that you have to deal with. Um, not not here, but I think I think in Mirahana, actually, when you go to the uh, the Hawaiian nation, then you have some people that are, are worshipping some pretty strange shit. And As opposed to the self-reanimating statue in the naked <laughs> Cupid. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> well, cherub, probably. Oh <laughs> uh, yes, our, our very um, oddly placed statue avatar thing. <laughs> that seems to be in all the wrong places, but at all the right places at the same time. <laughs> so I guess they're afraid to build here right now because I struck it down. But you know, they will. They will eventually... Well, they'll get to it. You queued a lot of actions. Mm -hmm. And I think the stuff you queued takes a night of priority over the AI just doing shit. Right, yeah. So, 
they're probably addressing the cues. That'd be my guess, yeah. yeah the fact that it uh, sometimes gets a little slow does perplex me. I don't remember it uh, taking this long, but uh, that happens. It's okay. <laughs> they sent out one brave guy to build a, a mud hut. Or a log cabin, I should say. <laughs> the, the mud huts have been banned by uh, banned by decree. I had uh, I had my film war Moses come down and he said, and the Lord said, "Thou shalt not build mud huts." Cause that crap drives down real estate prices. <laughs> what is wrong with you? Yep. And if there's if there's one thing that God in this world is is, is uh, concerned about, it's real estate. <laughs> I am the I am the Lord of mortgages. <laughs> I mean, I, there are worse portfolios to have as a deity. Mm -hmm. I, I am I am a deity that likes to hand out ninja loans. <laughs> That's just how I operate. All right, we're now prioritizing the last spooky monster layer in the region. Pretty much, yeah. We're, we're almost up to that that very brave fishing boat. <laughs> I feel like at this point that fishing boat probably just has like a really crazy old man on there. <laughs> that was actually uh, one of the things that's been making the rounds on Tumblr is the idea of a fishing game, but it slowly turns into a Lovecraftian horror game. Oh yeah, I can see that. <laughs> Where it just starts as a fishing game and the fish you keep catching get weirder and weirder <laughs> and the other boaters you meet get weirder and weirder <laughs> and things just keep getting weirder. <laughs> they just They just start talking to you. Yeah. <laughs> oh, look, a dog. And yes, viewers, I'm. First of all, I would never send lightning down on the dog. And second of all, even if you did, it wouldn't do anything. The dog, the dog is immune to lightning. <laughs> I mean, it's also immune to the other shit you can do. You can't rain on the dog. You can't, you know, give the dog a heat stroke by sending intense, intense sunshine on it. <laughs> yeah. Wee. All right, so. We have sealed the last of the monster layers. Isn't that exciting? Yep. Yay! So, this is how it works. All right. And now we're now now our civilization level has definitely improved. And um, all right. So, oh boy, we have our local uh, clairvoyant oracle getting nightmares. Oh, a Minotaurus. Ooh. If you're gonna if you if you're gonna have nightmares about a monster, that that's a pretty scary one to have a nightmares about. <sighs> oh boy, well, our oracle's having a headache, and now she wants us to send down and destroy the monster. Well, she's actually referring to this hole right here, and normally you think to yourself, "Hey, I'm God. You know what I could do? I could do this," <laughs> but unfortunately, that's not gonna work. Lightning doesn't go down the hole. Lightning does not go down the holes. You can't flush it out. So, actually what we're going to do is here's something. We're going to we're going to actually just go absolutely ape on this village right now. And now that we have we're using an emulator, we have the magical mystical fast forward feature. So, it's we're going to watch it rebuild itself pretty fr pretty freaking fast. <laughs> Fair enough. <laughs> so, uh, let me just uh, do this. All right, let me just We'll be right back viewers, but I'm just going to we're just gonna try to rebuild this uh, this place. All right, guys, we're back. Um, so we've uh, upgraded some of the towns and villages, but I believe that we're actually probably gonna have to take care of the Minotaurs before they go back to full building capacity. So we'll make sure to do that. And you'll get okay. to see we'll get to see Mike do it in the next video. So this is the Benjinator, and this is Mike. Thank you guys for watching. Let's play Act Razor. We'll see you again next time. Bonsoir.